Hello, this is the Echelon bike that I purchased at Walmart for about $500. Um, I quickly learned that this bike, as well as the other Echelon bikes, will log in only to the Echelon app and made it impossible then to ride on Zwift with my friends. I posted to an Echelon Facebook page and eventually got uh, a reply to my plea for help in connecting this bike to, to Zwift from uh, Roberto Viola who had written an app that would connect this bike to Zwift. His app, as it turns out, will not only do this bike but will do all the Echelon bikes and connect not only to Zwift but many other of the uh, fitness apps. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, exactly how to connect uh, the bike using Roberto's app and I will be giving you uh, a link below uh, so that you can connect with his app. Uh, it's an inexpensive app, only six dollars and it works wonderfully. This is what the app looks like when you're riding the bike. You can see all the metrics are displayed on the uh, app. When using Roberto's app, you must have two devices. One to run his app and one to run Zift. In, um, in my case, I'm using my phone to run his app and I'm using a Samsung A7 tablet to run Zwift. You'll see that his app will provide power only to Zwift, which is all Zwift needs. It's found my uh, S20 phone. I click OK and you can see I'm connected. Heart rate would also be connected uh, when I'm wearing my heart rate chest belt. The power source and heart rate are all that's needed to run Zwift. And I can take off from here. Now in part two I'm going to show you how I actually use this because I use a split screen on my phone so I can run the Zwift companion at the same time. And I'll show you how I do that on part two. Good writing.